Hey everyone, how's it going? Sarumaru here. Today we're going to be learning how to play Japanese eShop games on your Nintendo Switch here on Retro Japan. March 3rd, 2017, the day that the Big N launched the Switch in North America, not even a whole day has passed and we've already seen a shit ton of videos of people unboxing them and showing them off and playing with the joy cons and sticking them in their mouth and all sorts of stuff but um this isn't a boring unboxing video though instead it's a boring video about how to play japanese games from the japanese eShop. <laughs> but um yeah japan's got twice as many games on their eShop as we do and i, I mean like compared to the week launch that we got there's I don't know, at least there were as far as i can see there were like six or seven more games maybe more so uh if you're ready here we go all right so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up your browser you're going to go to my.nintendo.com forward slash getting underscore started as soon as you go there you're going to scroll down all the way to the bottom Go ahead and click on that box there that says get started with my Nintendo account. <clears throat> and then you're going to go ahead and select a new Nintendo account here. Go ahead and uh, put in your birth date here, which will just carry on over to the next page. Once you hit submit, you're going to be presented with another page uh, where you're going to want to put in all your other information. Make sure you enter your email address because you'll be entering it later. One of the important things is that you make sure that you select Japan as your region, otherwise it's not going to work. Make sure you agree to the terms and then go ahead and hit submit. As soon as you hit submit, you're gonna wanna check your email for your confirmation code. You're gonna, you're gonna get a four, four digit code that you're gonna need to put in here. Go ahead and hit verify. Once you've verified your four digit code, you're all set. Your Nintendo account is set up and uh, you're pretty much ready to go. You're ready to go to your Japanese shop. So now you're gonna go to your uh, Switch into your system settings. Uh, you're gonna go all the way down to users. We're gonna go ahead and add a new user if you don't have any already. Um, you're gonna wanna add a new one. Go ahead and hit next. Your nickname, it doesn't really matter. Your avatar, this doesn't really matter. Whatever you wanna put in here <clears throat> is fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip right through this. Go ahead and hit OK. It's going to go ahead and take you to the uh, screen letting you know that uh, you need to link the account. So right here is where you have to hit sign in and link. You're going to link it to the account that you just created on the My Nintendo page. So once you've got this open here, you're going to go ahead and sign in using an email address or user ID. Here's where you want to put in your email address that you entered on the My, My, Doc, My Nintendo page. Go ahead and put in your password. Hit sign in. And there you go. Your account is all set up. You're ready to go to the Japanese eShop now and download Japanese games. You're gonna get this screen here. Just go ahead and scroll all the way down. It's gonna say something about if you want to have the premium service for the rest of 2017, that's fine. Just hit okay, sign in. Go ahead and select the account that you created with the Japanese ID and sign into the eShop. Very first thing's gonna come up is you're gonna get a message that states that the eShop can't be displayed in English. So it's going to be displayed in its native Japanese. This screen here, if you want to go ahead and check that box and hit that uh, confirmation button, basically you're putting in your password now for the eShop as opposed to putting it in every time you make a transaction. But when you sign back in, you still have to put it in, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now on this page here, um, this screen is uh, coming soon. And then what we need here is the very next option here. Here's where you're going to go ahead and put in your, your Japanese code. You can't use your uh, US credit cards for whatever reason they don't work. Just like on PSN, you have to buy the prepaid cards from Japan. 
Now, the thing with the prepaid cards is you can get them on a, from a number of different places. Um, if you want to go ahead and let's discuss in the comments, if you want to ask me where I got my card, uh, go ahead and do so in the comments. But um, there are a number of places where you can get these prepaid Japanese cards. And um, usually it's pretty pretty even, usually a dollar or two markup depending on on where you get it from. So once you put in your code, it's going to say you want to charge these this 500 yen to your account. You go ahead and hit OK. It tells you your total. I just charged 500 yen. I now have a total of 1,000 yen. So you're going to hit OK. I now have money. I'm going to go buy a game. And I'm a big retro gamer, being that the channel is called Retro Japan. I'm going to go ahead and download a retro game. One of my favorite games of all time is the Sunsoft game Waku Waku 7. It's an excellent game. I, I love this game. And um, it was actually, uh, I, for the longest time, I used to go by the username Marurun, which is the name of that purple guy that you see. And it was my first uh, handle on the uh, Neo Geo forums back in like 99 or 2000, I don't remember. Uh, sadly, I don't know my credentials anymore for that, but who cares? On this screen here, you see uh, how much money your game costs and how much money you have left. This screen tells you here if you want to just go ahead and uh, exit or if you want to continue shopping, I'm going to go ahead and select the left option, which is Olaru, which means I'm done. And that's pretty much it. Your game begins to download and uh, you're ready to play some... Japanese game goodness. And I'm going to play some Waku Waku 7. All right, guys, and there you have it. You now know how to download Japanese games on your Nintendo Switch. Now that you can go and download any game you want, which games are you guys going to be playing? I think I'm going to check out King of Fighters 98 because that's one of the quintessential SNK fighting games. So uh, let me know down in the comments if you want to see more videos like this, uh, more of the region type videos like how to play um, different region games on on your consoles maybe on your playstation or or even retro consoles who knows let me know down in the comments go ahead and like and subscribe and i'll see y'all later Today we're gonna be with a bad little book that made a more than a lot mad about. Today we're gonna do the thing that involves doing things. Definitely need to get me one of those pro controllers though, because playing with these things is a pain in the ass. Fuck. Don't lose me, dude, me, me.